Hey everybody, welcome back to The Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? Today, we're trying one of those ready-to-eat sandwiches you find over near the produce section and the deli section in Walmarts. I've always been leery of consuming these sandwiches, mainly because I didn't really want to try them. But then I realized, they're really no different than the gas station burgers or sandwiches I've already tried for you, the people, so you didn't have to. I survived those burgers and sandwiches with no illnesses or infectious diseases, so why not push my luck and try Marketside's Flame Broiled Angus Cheeseburger and Marketside's Double Sausage Egg and Cheese Muffin. We tried the 7.2 ounce Flame Broiled Angus Cheeseburger first, which is a premium Flame Broiled Angus Beef Patty with American cheese on a sesame seed bun, and it cost $2.50. The ingredients are nearly as bad as I expected them to be, especially in the burger. There's no textured vegetable protein in the burger. That's just something I can't grasp. A processed burger with no TVP? That's just hard to believe, but it makes me extremely happy. Each charbroiled Angus burger has 670 calories, 43 grams of total fat, 19 grams of saturated fat, 1.5 grams of trans fat, 4.5 grams of polyunsaturated fat, 14 grams of monounsaturated fat, 55 milligrams of cholesterol, 1,230 milligrams of sodium, 42 grams of carbohydrates, 2 grams of fiber, 6 grams of sugars, and 28 grams of protein. Next we have the market side 6.1 ounce double sausage egg and cheese muffin, which is double sausage, egg, and American cheese on an English muffin which also cost $2.50. Here's the list of ingredients and again the meat is meat with no fillers or added proteins. Each double sausage egg and cheese muffin has 480 calories, 31 grams of total fat, 11 grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 165 milligrams of cholesterol, 1,110 milligrams of sodium, 27 grams of carbohydrates, 1 gram of fiber, 2 grams of sugars, and 23 grams of protein. Fresh ideas and quality ingredients, that's how MarketSide brings the best quality foods to your table every day. If you're not completely delighted with their product, contact them. Before we heat the sandwiches up, let's take a sneak peek at what's inside, starting with the charbroiled Angus burger. The sesame seed bun looked okay, but it didn't have many sesame seeds. The American cheese, well, it looked like a piece of American cheese. The burger looked like a typical processed burger with the grill marks done by a rotating brander. And just like with most cold hamburgers, you're gonna have a little bit of congealed fat on the bottom. Once we reassembled our charbroiled Angus burger, it went into the microwave for 75 seconds. While the charbroiled Angus burger is heating up, let's check out the double sausage egg and cheese muffin. The English muffin looked like a normal English muffin, and the pre-cooked, pre-formed eggs probably look fine to most people, but these types of eggs literally make me gag when I eat them. So this is gonna be interesting. Finally, we have the slice of American cheese sandwiched between two real sausage patties. And when we separate the sausage patties, it's nice to see the cheese break apart, like normal American cheese does, versus the highly processed piece of plastic cheese that doesn't even melt. Once reassembled, it goes into the microwave for 60 seconds. After microwaving on high for 75 seconds, our market side charbroiled Angus cheeseburger is ready and the cheese melted very nicely. Maybe too nicely. So we cleaned up the nicely melted cheese and put the burger back together. Then for the purpose of the video, we cut it in half, so you, the people, can see the inside of the finished product. At this point, my house started smelling like the outside of a Burger King, with burgers grilling on the inside. Now that's a greasy looking burger, which looks great to me, because a good burger should be a little on the greasy side in my opinion. So I went in for a big old bite. And to my amazement, 
this greasy charbroiled Angus cheeseburger was absolutely delicious. I'm usually not a fan of the flavor of anything that says grilled or charbroiled, but this was an exception. The burger was meaty with a fantastic grilled flavor, very moist and a bit on the greasy side. The cheese was spot on and melted nicely, and the bun wasn't hard, tough, or soggy, like most microwave bread products are. The fat from the burger absorbed into the bun, which added great flavor, and the bun had a tender chewiness to it. I was really shocked at this point at how good the cheeseburger was as a whole, and even tasting the meat and bun by itself, they were still delicious on their own. After microwaving for 60 seconds, our market side double sausage egg and cheese muffin was done and ready to enjoy. So again, for you, the people, we cut it in half for your viewing pleasure. And it also looked great, except the yellow devil egg. I already knew I wasn't going to like the egg just by looking at it. But I closed my eyes and said a quick prayer and took a bite for you, the people, so you didn't have to. Thankfully, the two delicious and somewhat spicy sausage patties mixed with the creamy American cheese overpowered the egg texture, so I was fortunately not able to feel the egg in my mouth. The English muffin was not tough or chewy either, but it was actually too soft. To me, an English muffin needs a bit of a toasting for the optimal flavor and crunch factor. I went ahead and gave the egg a try to confirm my initial assessment, and it was definitively confirmed. These pre-cooked formed eggs feel like a very tender and airy wet flavorless sponge in my mouth. The sausage and cheese were fantastic. The sausage was moist, tender, slightly greasy and spicy. It was just delicious. You can see the fat was also absorbed into the muffin, which made it taste great, but the muffin was still texturally challenged. So here's my final thoughts on Market Side's Charbroiled Angus Cheeseburger. It's very good, and for a cheeseburger sitting in a refrigerated section in a grocery store, you're going to be hard pressed to find a better burger. The only knock I'd have against the burger is it was slightly on the salty side for me, which is why I'm giving it a score of 9 out of 10. The Market Side Double Sausage Egg and Cheese Muffin was pretty good, but could have been exceptionally good with two changes in my opinion. Separate the sandwich. Toast the English muffin on its own and throw the egg away and the double sausage and cheese muffin would be phenomenal, which is why I'm giving it a score of 7 out of 10. Thank you all very much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe, and share this video with your family and friends, and I'll see you soon.